Alright guys, let me tell you about one of the biggest mistakes that guys make on dates with women that make it so that she doesn't um, she doesn't text you back, she doesn't want to go on a second date with you, you know, she says there's not a spark, no chemistry, whatever it is, okay? It's it's probably the biggest thing that, that I've come across, both in my own experience and then also in, in coaching a lot of guys. And what it is, is it's actually when you care too much about not coming across as an asshole, okay? In, in you know, you might not seem like this is important at first, but I'll tell you why this is, okay? This is the thing, all right? You're not gonna come across as an asshole. Well, okay, I'll even tell you this. Let's say that you do come across as an asshole. That's okay, all right? Because when it comes down to women, all right? If a woman thinks you're a little bit of an asshole, right? It's recoverable. You can go back from that and she can decide that you're not an asshole and that she likes you, she's attracted to you. In fact, being an asshole does not necessarily make a woman not attracted to you, all right? Now, it doesn't mean that she's going to be attracted to you, but it doesn't make her not attracted to you. It might make her more attracted to you. Not that you should be shooting for that, but I'm just saying that what happens, though, is if you end up being too much of a nice guy, there's no coming back from that. Once she has her opinion of you as too much of a nice guy, she doesn't feel like she's attracted to you at all. She doesn't feel a sexual attraction, no chemistry. So you can't come back from that. There's no coming back, right? So it would be better always to lean on the side of being perceived more asshole-ish than nice guys. Now, if you've seen my content on my other channel and my diagram, you know that it's not just asshole or nice guy. There's actually two other types of guys, right? There's the narcissist and there is the gentleman. And the way that I define these men is on two axes, right? So the first one is caring about what other people think and the second one is caring about people, right? So you have four combinations, caring what people think and caring about people, which makes you a nice guy, uh, not caring about what people think, but caring about people, which actually makes you a gentleman right? And then not caring about people, not caring what they think, that makes you an asshole. And caring about people and caring about, or not caring about people, but caring what they think makes you a narcissist. All right. So the thing though, to understand about that is that the trait that's attracted to women is, is you not caring what other people think. And that's the thing that is messing you up on the dates is that you're caring too much about what she thinks. Right? Again, I'm not saying to be an asshole. I'm not saying to purposely be rude or treat her badly, but Stop asking her questions. Stop asking her if she would like to go to this place for dinner or to this location or where she would like to meet. You tell her, I'm gonna meet you at this place at seven o'clock, right? And, and you tell her where you're going. You, you tell her where the date's gonna be. Now, that doesn't mean that she's not gonna say, oh, I, I really would prefer a different place. It's fine, and you can negotiate that, that's fine. but. Don't start with the asking, right? A lot of guys ask because they're like, well, I don't want to be rude. I don't want her to think that I don't care where she wants to eat or you know, or, or maybe she has to drive further and I don't want her to have to drive so far. No, you cannot be like that, all right? And, and the same thing when you're thinking about the location and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, as a, as a man, you should be trying to be romantic in the sense that you're planning things out, you're putting thought into them, you're, you're thinking about what you would like, right? But you can't worry about the responses that you're gonna get. You can't worry about these things. If, if you're so concerned with worrying that you're gonna offend her or you be careful what you say, right? Or you know, you, you don't talk about certain subjects because you're afraid she's not gonna like your take on them. Not good, not good. And, and, and especially not calling out bad behavior, disrespectful, you don't, you don't know how many guys a girl is late to a date, right? And they don't say anything or she apologizes and they say, oh, it's not a big deal. It's no worry. I was just, you know, it was only 20 minutes. I was just sitting here reading my book or what? No, you need to tell her 
hey, that that's yeah, that's you know, that's not cool. You know, are you always late for your for your dates? Like, you know, like you you need to tell her that you you weren't happy about that, that you didn't appreciate that, right? You have to actually do that, and you might be like, oh well, that will kind of make me an asshole. Everyone's late, so so be it. Don't worry so much about being an asshole. Again, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to be an asshole. I'm not saying to purposely be a jerk or to treat people poorly. You should treat people good, but you have to not worry about it. That's what the not caring about what people think is, honestly. That, that's what it is. It's, it's just not worrying about how you're coming. Because you know what your intention is, right? And you know that you're not trying to hurt someone's feelings or, or be mean. But... If that happens, that's okay because you're still going to do your action. You're, you're not going to be impeded by that. And, and like I said, you're going to have a lot more success with women because they're going to be more likely to be attracted to you. And then, like I said, you can come back from the asshole, right? A, a woman could go on a date with you, you know, and then have the perception that you're a bit of an asshole and then find out, oh, actually, he's a really good guy right and now she's going to be pleasantly surprised as opposed to if you come across as a nice guy you're, you're done what are you going to do from there if you act like an asshole after you've been a nice guy then she feels like you're just angry and you're just butt hurt or you're just one of the typical nice guys that is really nice until he doesn't get what he wants and then the true colors emerge right that that's what it it, it comes across as weak so that that's what I can tell you, you know, from a lot of years of experience coaching guys is that just don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like the more that you're worrying about it, the more that you're carefully watching your words and the least, the less attractive that you'll be to her.